this is the mnemonic method for remembering the atmospheric layers. We have troposphere, stratosphere, ozone, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. The way I remember it is this. Thunderstorms often makes things exciting. Boom! Thunderstorms often makes things exciting. Boom! <coughs> Thunderstorms often makes things exciting. Boom! The boom part of this is just like to get the kids being really loud and they like it and they get into it. Nah, it works. So, alright. Thunderstorms often makes things exciting. Boom! Thunderstorms often makes things exciting. T, troposphere. S, stratosphere. O, ozone. M, mesosphere. T, thermosphere. E, exosphere. Say it again. Thunderstorms often makes things exciting. Boom! T, troposphere. S, stratosphere. O, ozone. M, mesosphere. T, thermosphere. E, exosphere. They learn this pretty quickly. And I find that if you keep on doing this, uh, like have it on a board work or sponge work, uh, whatever you call it, bell activity, at the beginning of the hour and bring that up once every month or twice a month and just have them remember that, uh, by the end of the year they really have that and it just reinforces it. And so I found that that method works best instead of just slamming it into one week or two weeks or whatever, however long the unit is. And then we go ahead and keep on repeating this over the course of the whole year. And the mnemonic method sticks, uh, these, this mnemonic method sticks with them pretty good. So that's how I handle that one. This is the layers of the atmosphere. Ionosphere is actually, your, I don't have a mnemonic method one with, for that one, sorry. All right, ionosphere is within the mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. So, and it could even be argued that ozone isn't really part of a layer, it's just a component of, but yeah, it works pretty good. Gives you the location. Troposphere is closest to the Earth, exosphere, of course, farthest from the Earth, you're exiting out of our sphere, so like an exit door. Thank you very much.